guys, I told you that I am no longer going to blame politicians anymore. For everything that is happening in South Africa, I am no longer going to blame politicians, but I am simply going to blame their voters. I am simply going to blame their voters. Guys, I want you to watch this video of Julius Malem. <laughs> and I cannot believe that his supporters are actually supporting him after saying all of these things. I cannot believe that, man. <laughs> you know, in South Africa today, people are complaining about Ramaphosa, that, man, Ramaphosa, you are too concentrated about what is happening between Israel and Palestine. You are paying so much attention to what is happening between Israel and Palestine, but you are not even paying attention to what is happening in South Africa. You are talking about the genocide in Israel and Palestine, but you are not talking about the genocide that is taking place in South Africa. Over 80 people in South Africa are being killed. Women are being taken advantage of. I don't want to say that word because YouTube is going to censor me, but you know what I mean that women are being taken advantage of in South Africa each and every day. Children are being abducted. The borders are out. The illegal immigrants are doing as they please. The buildings are hijacked in the middle of the cities, man. It is a mayhem what is happening in South Africa. But for some reason, we have a president that is dedicating so much time, energy, and effort into the matters that are not going to help South Africans in any way, shape, or form. But right now, you have another leader in South Africa <laughs> in the form of Julius Malem. This is one person that is willing to, to, to sell out South Africa so that he can accommodate these foreigners that he loves so much. I have never seen in my life someone who runs for presidency of the country, but he hates South Africa so much. I have never watched or seen a leader who hates South Africans so much. Julius Malema, whenever he's out there, he never says anything positive about the people of South Africa. He will go out of his way to defend foreigners in South Africa instead of, 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 of defending South Africa first. But for some reason, you will have people, especially his supporters, you know these pseudo pan Africanist guys that are all over social media talking about that we need to unite Africa. These useless and clueless people about exactly what is happening in Africa. I mean, you know, if these people were actually aware of what is happening in Africa, they would understand that the term United Africa will never come into fruition. They will understand that Africa will never unite. People are too, dif are, are too divided in this continent. And how can these people who are divided in South Africa come out and say that they want to unite South Africa? There is no template for them. Instead of them trying to work to unite South Africa, no, they are dividing South Africa while trying to unite Africa. It will never work. Guys, listen to what this leader of the EFF just said about the people of South Africa. I saw a video of some police harassing a Nigerian in Santin. I want to say to my Nigerian brothers and sisters, those police do not represent us and they do not represent the South African police services. Those police, they must be dealt with, they must be disciplined for harassing a person because, simply because this person is a Nigerian. It must come to an end. Some fool is going to say, but these Nigerians are committing crime. Fine. If Nigerians are committing crime, a lot of them are in Hilbro. Why are the soldiers not in Hilbro but in Cape Town among South Africans? There are no soldiers on Nigerians. There are no soldiers on Mozambicans. They are soldiers on South Africans themselves. Because crime is committed by us. We are the ones who are selling drugs to our own people. We are the ones who are beating up our own women. We are the ones who are killing each other. And then you hide behind the Nigerians. Stop being cowards. Take responsibility. Stop crime. When Nigerians come here to commit crime and they do not find us as criminals, it will not be conducive for them to do crime where crime is not happening. If <laughs> <laughs> so according to Julius Malema if I go to Zimbabwe and Zimbabweans are committing crimes it, it justifies me committing crimes in, in Zimbabwe because the people of Zimbabwe are committing crimes 
this is the superior logic that the EFF always talks about. Nigerians are committing crimes in South Africa because in South Africa we have criminals. Of course, no one said that the South Africans don't have criminals. We have criminal like criminals are all over the world. But what the South Africans are saying is that we need our police officers or our law enforcement agencies to focus on these criminals that are born in South Africa, these criminals that can be traced down, these criminals that can actually be brought to book. We need our law enforcement services to focus on these people. But we don't need our law enforcement services to stretch their resources to now run after criminals that are born in South Africa and to also run after criminals that were not born into South Africa. Why is it so hard for these people to understand? Why is it so hard for the people to understand? And Julius Malema, guys, is willing to punish the police for doing their job. He is not telling us what is it exactly that those police are doing. He simply comes out and says those police are simply harassing the Nigerians because these people come from Nigeria. This is what he says and his people are believing him. His people believe him. So just because South Africa has criminals, it justifies people coming outside of South Africa, getting into the country and committing the crimes. It is just like it justifies that to Julius Malem. That's what he's saying to his own people. <laughs> Guys, I told you that right now I no longer blame political parties or politicians. I am not gonna sit here and blame Julius Malem. I'm simply looking at his supporters. I'm looking at his supporters and I'm like, man, are you willing to vote for this man who is willing to defend foreigners in South Africa before he even defends you? He is willing to to defend foreigners in South Africa before he even defends because if someone can actually ask him did you go there and ask those people why are they quote unquote harassing those Nigerians did you go to those police officers and say guys why are you harassing these Nigerians no no he didn't go there and actually ask why these people are harassing these Nigerians but he just jumped to the fact that okay South African police services are wrong these Nigerians in South Africa are right and he's telling South Africans that we are the criminals in South Africa we are the criminals in South Africa. Besides all the evidence that has been presented, all the evidence that is there in the South African police service, Julius Malema says no. The Nigerians in South Africa are innocent. The South Africans are the ones who are the criminals. <laughs> I can't believe that there are actually people who are willing to vote Julius Malema into the office. I cannot believe that there are South Africans who are willing to vote for a man who is going to fight for the foreigners way before he fights for you. So if you are an EFF supporter and you are looking at Julius Malema saying all of these things, how do you feel? How do you feel to see the leader of your own political party defending foreigners in South Africa before he even defends the South Africans? I mean, like, it, it would have made sense if Julius Malema actually says that I went to those police officers and asked them, what the hell are you doing to these people? And are these people even legal in South Africa? He's not even asking that because you know Julius Malema believes in open border policy. So he's not going to ask, are these people even legal in South Africa? So he's simply going to jump and say that the South African police are wrong. South African police are wrong. The Nigerians and all of these people that are inside of South Africa, they are, they are right. South African police are wrong. The people of this country, they are wrong. For saying that illegal immigrants are getting to South Africa to commit crimes, the people of this country, all of you guys are wrong. You see, guys, you say that illegal immigrants are hijacking the buildings in the middle of the cities. All of you guys are wrong. You need to understand that you are wrong. Julius Malema is telling you that. Julius Malema is telling you that. Unbelievable, man. This whole thing is unbelievable, man. How can this guy say this about South Africans? How can you say this about South Africans? How are you willing to defend the foreigners in this country before you even defend the South Africans? How are you willing to do that? He is not even going to ask, are these people legal in South Africa? Where are your papers? I mean, guys, you, you remember recently we saw a video of President Ramaphosa going to a spaza shop in one of the townships and asking that person, man, do you have your papers? Are you legal to be here? That is the, like, and people were furious at Ramaphosa and saying that Ramaphosa, our children are dying. Our children are eating this food that has been sold to these people that come outside of South Africa. And our children are dying. And how can you go there and have a nice pep talk with the people who are potentially selling us the food that is rotten. The people in this country, they have been told not to take the matters into their own hands. But what do you expect South Africans to do? What do you expect South Africans to do when the president of the country is, for, is friendly with the people who come outside of South Africa? When you have a leading opposition party, because I would say right now the EFF is the leading opposition party. When you have the leader of the leading opposition party, 
going out and saying that South African police is wrong for doing their business, but the foreigners in South Africa, they are right. So when Julius Malema sees police standing next to Nigerians, the first thing that comes to his mind is that these people are right and these police are wrong. These people are right and these police are wrong. Man, the EFF supporters need to be ashamed of themselves, man. The EFF supporters, honestly, guys, you need to be ashamed of yourself for having this guy as a leader. And Julius Malema is the same person who goes around and saying that I want what is best for black people. I want what is best for black people. The first thing that we're going to do to show that I want what is best for black people, I'm, I'm going to advocate for a borderless South Africa so that everyone who wants to come to South Africa can come freely and do as they please. This is my way of showing all of these people in Africa that I want a united Africa. This is how Julius, Julius Malema is literally willing to sell South Africa out to show, to show people that I want a united Africa. He is willing to let illegal immigrants to come into South Africa and live with the ordinary South Africans. Because I can tell you today, where Julius Malema lives, you will never find illegal immigrants. Where Julius Malema lives, you will never find illegal immigrants. Malema and his family are protected wherever they are. He knows that I'm going to call for open borders. And when these people come into South Africa, they are not going to live with me. They are going to live with South Africans, with average South Africans. Then you find unemployment, unemployed people in the EFF saying, yeah, see, I see. You are telling the truth, man. We need to fight for our economic freedom. Man, how, how the hell do you think you are going to find employment? If you are struggling to find employment now, how do you think you are going to find employment when you have a political party that openly op advocates for open border policies? How is having a lot of illegal immigrants in South Africa going to help poor black people? How are black people going to be empowered by having illegal immigrants into South Africa? <laughs> then you have these people man, going around talking about one Africa. One Africa, Suedo, fake pan-Africanist, all over social media talking about one Africa. These people clearly, they are, they are clueless. They have no idea what is happening in Africa. They are not even watching the documentaries. They are not even reading the books. They are not even watching the news to see what is happening in Africa. And these people have the audacity to come all over the place to say that, no, we need a united Africa. We need a united Africa. Where? Where? Where South, like South Africa is not even united. But these people are talking about a united, united Africa. How is that even going to be possible? <laughs> man, Julius Malema is disgusting, man. Julius Malema is disgusting. I don't want to lie. The man is purely disgusting. That is the only thing I can say about Julius Malema. He's purely disgusting. There's nothing to be said about Julius Malema. At this point, there is nothing to be said about Julius Malema. And the fact that you have millions of South Africans, man, millions of South Africans saying that we're going to vote for the EFF, economic freedom in our lifetime. You are unemployed sitting at home talking about economic freedom in, our, in your lifetime. You have a president that openly defends foreigners over South Africans any given time. Do you think that Julius Malema is going to defend you? Next time when you say that, man, I think we have a lot of foreigners in our streets, man. These people are sitting our... The thing is that, man, South Africans never said that they don't want foreigners in South Africa. One thing that people need to understand, and one thing that we need to reiterate, is that South Africans never said that they don't want foreigners. Of course we want foreigners. Of course people who don't who were not born into south africa we want them to come to south africa but south africans want these people to come into the country legally south africans want these people men to be accountable south africans want these people men to come into the country and to show the country that yes i want to help south africans build this beautiful country and and and, and the only way i can show south africans that i want to help them build this beautiful country is by respecting the laws of south africa Right now, South Africans are not saying that the government and the likes of Julius Malema must come out with new laws. We are simply saying enforce the laws that are there already. Enforce the laws that are there already. Invite people to come to South Africa. It is fine to invite people to come into South Africa. But tell people to come into South Africa legally. Tell people to come into South Africa legally. So that when these people commit crimes, we can trace them down. Why is it so hard for people to understand that when people come into the country without proper documents, we cannot trace these people down. Right now, people are losing their children. Children are being abducted left, right, and center. Left, right, and center. But you still have these people going around saying that, now, nah, illegal foreigners are okay. South Africans are talking nonsense.
the X, and then people are going to come and tell me about we must vote for EFF. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what it would take for me to vote for Julius. Like, and you know what? And you know what? And you know the most annoying thing is that these people who always invite illegal immigrants to come into South Africa, they know that illegal immigrants are not going to live with them. They know illegal immigrants are not going to live with them. Illegal immigrants are going to live with the poor South Africans. Right now, you have our hospitals that are broken down, mainly because our hospitals men are overburdened because they are taking care of South Africans and they are also taking care of the people who come outside of South Africa. Most of these people are in South Africa illegal. You have the South African police service. It's broken down. It's broken down. They cannot even function properly. Because they are running after the criminals in South Africa and they have to stretch their resources so that they can also run after criminals who are not even born into South Africa. Why is, it so, why, why is that something so hard for the people to understand? Why is it something so hard for the people to understand? Guys, I don't know what it would take for me to vote for Julius. Like, really, I would need to... Julius fucked up just purely on his border policy. Purely on his border policy. Guys, I get it. I get it. It's not all foreigners who are, uh, are, are committing crime. I know. I've got foreigners who are mates. Come on, man. I sound like a white person. Oh, good. <laughs> Black friends. But it's the truth. Not all foreigners are, are criminals. That's a fact. But Of course, not all foreigners are the fact. The thing is that Every time when this topic is brought up, people simply take us out of context so much. They simply take us out of context so much. And I've said it before that the, the, the foreigners that are in South Africa with the proper documents, it's high time they speak out. Foreigners that are in South Africa properly with proper documentations, it's high time they speak out. Because these people who come into the country without the documents are putting their lives in danger. These people who come outside of South Africa and get into the country without the proper documents are putting the lives of the people who are in the country with the proper documents in danger. And not all foreigners are, 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 are criminals, man. Not all for, Like, we know that. We know that not all foreigners are criminals. We know that. And we never say that all foreigners are criminals. But we are simply worried about these people, man, who cannot even be traced if they commit crimes. South Africans are worried about these people that you cannot even trace them down when they, com when they commit crimes. South Africans are not even, in, like, we are not even worried about the people who are into the country legally. We are not worried about those because we know that these people, man, like, they have shown us that they respect the laws of the country. And, and us as South Africans, man, how, like, how, like, when was the last time you heard that a South African was caught somewhere entering a country without illegal documents? South Africans, wherever they go, they understand that I cannot simply go into the next person's country and go there without the documents. I remember the last time, I think it was like a couple of months ago when I went to Lesotho with my aunt. When we got to the border of Lesotho, I think it's Lesotho and Fixburg. Yeah, when we, got to the, when we got to the border of South Africa and Lesotho, there were people actually offering to smuggle us into the country saying, like, it, like, it is fine, you can simply give us 50 bucks, we can smuggle you in then you will enter the suit but we didn't do that we didn't do that we went to the we went to the home office so that we can have our passports so that we can get into the when, so that we can get into the suit properly the people of this country they understand that not many south africans will simply say no nah, i will go from south africa and enter the suit without proper documents no south africans are not doing that many people that i know that have went to 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 to, to the suit many people that have went to a couple of countries man those people they have proper documents South Africans, they know that we need to respect other people's laws. We need to respect other people's countries. But every time when these people come to South Africa without proper documentations, you have people in South Africa justifying that you have unemployed people sitting at home justifying this kind of nonsense and this kind of rhetoric. <sighs> but again, if we start going to any, any prison, any prison and start talking to criminals, they'll tell you about... A lot of Nigers that are selling coke, a lot of Nigers who are doing tri drugs, trafficking, um, Zimbabweans who are doing heists. If you go to Central jo Joburg, CBD Hill Pro Youth, if you go to clubs, I've been to clubs being offered ecstasy by Nigerians. I've been there, dog. You know, 
I've been there. So I've got my own personal thing. And I, I'm not saying South Africans aren't selling uh, uh, drugs. I'm not saying South Africans aren't doing crime. I'm not saying South Africans aren't beating women. I am saying, me, I am saying, not all foreigners commit crime, but shit Louise. There are many that are this side that commit crime. And when Malema says he wants no borders, I'm like, that's fucking stupid. That's like him saying he doesn't want a wall around his house. Malema, if you can get a fucking... Take away the wall and the security guards by your home. Take that shit away so that anyone can come and live in harmony with you. Then I'll, I'll say, let's remove our South African borders. This he will never do that. <laughs> he will never do that because he's expecting average poor South Africans on the ground to accommodate all of these people. He is not willing to say that, guys, I, I have a mansion. I have a lot of rooms that I'm not using. I want people who are into the country illegally to come and live with me. He will never do that. He will never do that. These people are living in gated communities. You will never even enter those areas without, without actually validating where you are going. They will actually call Judas Malema that, man, there is such and such. This person says that they want you. How many people are, is Judas Malema willing to accommodate? He's willing, he, he, he thinks the South Africans, especially on the ground, they must accommodate these people. And if South Africans dare say anything about these people who come outside of South Africa, then these people are xenophobic. These people are xenophobic. He is not willing to accommodate them himself. He's not willing to do that. But he wants the poor South Africans on the ground to share the resources with these people, to share the job, the, the employment opportunities with these people. But he's, he knows that he is secure. He is secure. He has huge walls around his home. He's living in gated communities, but he's, he's preaching that the illegal immigrants must come into South Africa. Because what? He knows that these people are not going to share anything with him. When he's sick and his family is sick, they go to the private hospitals. They are not going to the public hospitals. They are not going to share the beds with the people who come outside of South Africa and enter the country illegally. Man, this thing is so frustrating. I don't even know what to say about this thing anymore. We don't know what to say about this thing anymore. Then you have this idiot coming here every day saying, yeah, oh, you hate black people, man. So, that, man, I, like at this point, man, at this point, you can go and stuff yourselves up, people. You can go. You can go and stuff yourselves up because clearly you are choosing not to understand us. You are clearly choosing not to understand us. South Africans are saying it is fine. Foreigners, we need foreigners to come to South Africa. Of course, we need foreigners to come to South Africa, but we need these people to come into the country with the proper documentations. We need people to come into the country with proper documentations. Then you have this EFF guy. The leader of the EFF is willing to defend the foreigners way before he defended South Africans. Whenever Julius Malema is out there in the world, he talks bad about South Africa. But the South Africans are the ones that keep voting for him to go to parliament. But he talks bad about South Africans. You will never hear Julius Malema defending South Africans. Never. Never. In the eyes of Julius Malema, South Africans are wrong. And all of these people are right. The Somalis, the Bangladeshis, the Nigerians and the Zimbabweans, the Malawis, the Chinese, all of these people that decided to come into the country without the proper documentations, all of these people are right. But South Africans are wrong. South Africans are wrong. If you dare say anything, then you are xenophobic. Man, this is kind of logic that I don't even understand, man. I don't understand this logic. And live in harmony with you. Then I'll, I'll say, let's remove our South African borders. There's a fucking reason why we have borders. There's a reason why we have borders because we're trying to stop those illegal, horrible criminals from coming in. The ones that have the right documentations, the ones that are here to build this country, sure, come on in. Everyone else, get the fuck out. Like that just, doesn't that make sense? The same way that when you want to go visit Malema and his fancy home, there's a boom gate, there's high walls, there's security. Why? Because he doesn't want criminals to get into his home. It's the same fucking mindset. Use your mindset in which you run your home to want to potentially run this country. It's the same fucking thing. It's the same thing. And he continues to say it's only South Africans that are criminals. Only? 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 Think in Bedford View, how many of those um, murders of uh, the mafia guys from Eastern European that live there? We, there's how many news articles about that that's been happening over the years? Malema, come on, fam. Like, come on, fam. Okay, shop. If it's South Africans, if it is just South Africans, then let's even more of a reason to close the borders. Let's sort out our internal affairs. Let's yes. sort out our internal affairs before we open it up. 
Exactly. If South Africans are the ones that are committing all of these crimes, then close the borders. Do not allow anyone to come in. Close the borders so that South Africans, we can get our things in order before we even talk about opening the borders for people who come outside of South Africa. Julius Malema says that, yeah, South Africans are the ones who are committing crimes. So how about we close our borders so that we can deal with the criminals in South Africa? And once we have dealt with that, we can open the borders knowing very well that South Africans are not criminals. But you are saying it is okay for the people to come into the country because South Africans are committing crimes. So it is okay for criminals who come outside of South Africa to enter this land and commit crimes because in South Africa we have people that are committing crimes. What kind of logic is that? Is that a superior logic that these EFF guys always talk about? Is this superior logic? <laughs> if some shit is happening in my home and my kids are running amok, let me close the, the, the doors. Let me sort out my kids before they can visit their friends and the next door neighbors can come visit. Let me close my shit. Guys, we, we are already struggling with unemployment. We are already struggling with fucking ESCOM, with water shedding. We are already struggling with a billion things in this country. Why the fuck... In a country of limited resource, do we want to open up for more people to come and strain these resources? Why? If in my home, in my kitchen, I've got two slices of bread amongst the three kids that I have, why the fuck would I want to invite my neighbors and other people to come and share the little that we have? We've got the littlest bit of resource and Umalem wants to take down borders so that we... Oh. How can you vote for a person who's political policy that one specifically is brain dead why would i want to do that and if you say oh bro you've got a problem against my limb no they say that we have problems against it. <laughs> they say that we have problems against the africans man and i think these people are actually insulting the intelligence of the people in africa i think the people in africa they clearly understand what we are saying the people in africa they clearly understand what the likes of us are saying that man we are simply saying that, guys, can we please come into the country legal so that we can know who is inside the country? It makes sense. It makes sense. If it makes sense for him to protect him and his family, why don't he think that South Africans need the same protection? If he can protect his family in those gated communities, why, why doesn't he think that South Africans also deserve to be protected? And they say that, yeah, you hate black people. It's self-hate. Yeah. So to show yourself that you love black people and, 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 and you don't have self-hate, you need to advocate for open borders so that people can come into the country and do as they please. Like Penson already said that, man, we, have, we already have limited resources in South Africa. We already have limited resources in South Africa. We are dealing with a lot of problems into the country. When are we actually going to find a leader who will put South Africa first? When are we actually going to find someone who's going to say, guys, we know for the longest time we have been struggling about one, two, three. And for us to fix all of these things, we're going to need to be selfish. South Africans, we're going to need to be selfish about our resources. We're going to need to be selfish and fix our own country. When are we actually going to find someone who is going to put the needs of South Africans first? Because if you are sitting down, you are unemployed, you are the member of the EFF, and you support this rhetoric, how do you think having a lot of illegal immigrants in South Africa is going to help your cause? How do you think it's going to better your life? If you are already sitting at home, unemployed under the ANC, EFF takes over, they are opening up the borders, and they say, everyone is welcome to come. Julius Malema is on stage every week saying that foreigners and illegal foreigners must come into South Africa. You don't even need to process your papers to come into the country. As a South African who is already sitting at home, unemployed, how do you think that is going to actually better your cause? I, I, I don't know the guy personally. But the guy could be an amazing father. He could be an amazing husband. You know, he, he could be helping old ladies cross the road. I'm talking about his political policies that are mentally broken. You know, a guy who was literally, literally funded by an Italian mob boss. You, you guys can research this. That funded the EFF. A guy whose political party had members that were affiliated with stealing money from Okoko Beetu when they created that corrupt corrupt uh, vp whatever bank hey 
Ah, guys, me, I'm, I, 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 guys, me, I don't want to lie, man. I'm sick and, like, I'm sick and tired, man. That's why covering Julius Malema, Jul- covering Julius Malema is one of the most annoying things ever. Covering Julius Malema is one of the most annoying things ever, man. You would think that Ramaphosa is, is not giving us enough, enough trouble already. Then we have to deal with Julius Malema. We have to deal with Ramaphosa. At the same time, we have to deal with Julius Malema, man. That's why I'm saying, like, covering Julius Malema is one of the most annoying things ever. Guys, please tell me what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button. And the most important part is subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. My name is Thomas Mabaso. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.